Hey guys, Jake's under pressure power washing. I'll show y'all today how to make your own pump in the box uh, versus a pump up sprayer. Uh, it's kind of simple. I did not come up with this, so uh, I forget who did, but a good idea. So we used it. So what we have here is just a, just a rigid Home Depot box, <laughs> toolbox. And it's got a, of course, it's got a lid on it. Uh, what we done was we put a, a pump in here. That is a is Everflow 2.2 gallon a minute pump. We just got some uh, air hose, cut the ends off. Then I made a little drop stick out the other end that goes to your bucket or whatever you want to spray. Uh, it's kind of simple. What we use this for is we use it for staining, we use it for spraying chemicals, acids, uh, anything like that. Now we do have this hose here is for, for the cleaning chemicals only. And then we also have uh, a yellow hose over there that we just use that for spray for stain only um a little bit about the box that is 50 foot of air hose uh we run a deep cycle battery <clears throat> now i did put a switch on it um kept getting messed up inside the truck sliding around so i went ahead and just uh put the alligator clips on the battery and connected it in you can see down there and again we do run a deep cycle batteries um i got it out right now because i need to charge it we used it yesterday but uh, we normally just we charge it put it back in this box and carry it around good thing about it is you know this will that'll handle will come up and you can wheel it around the yard so it makes it a little easier. And when we're spraying, we got these uh, nozzles here. They break right here. I'll just hook it into the air hose. We keep about a dozen of them in the shop because they do go bad. Keep a couple of them in the, uh, in the sprayer box too and on the trucks. But it is adjustable. It goes from a straight stream to a cone by adjusting it right there. And go ahead and so. See how fast it sprays out there. And that's just a cone pattern. See that behind me. But to a straight so. Yeah, it's just water there. Um. <clears throat> shut off drop hose that's about it with that always make sure you got these clamps with you because whatever you're whatever you're using that bucket for with that drop tube in there it's going to want to come out so we keep a few of them in there um, now that is the pump in a box so we call it This is the stain box, of course. This kind of goes with us whenever we're doing deck staining or anything like that. Now this yellow hose, what we do is we unhook the red hose when we're spraying or staining, excuse me. We'll unhook it. We'll still use the same drop tube because we clean everything out. So we don't change the drop tube out, just the hose and we'll hook that into the, to the pump itself. 
down when we're spraying stain, we do use these, uh, the brass wands, brass tips, the handles we keep. The, I don't know what it's about. Five, six of them in there. And the different tip sizes to spray with. Uh, stain bucket. Gonna go, we got a mixer, power drill. Uh, sander in case we need that. Mineral spirits. Dawn dish soap is a must for cleaning that pump in the box out, especially when you're using the stain. Um, mix up some soap, run it through the system real good. Just some, you know, stuff that we use staining. Nothing major. Stuff we like to keep on hand. And uh, that's about it with the pump in the box. That's how uh, how it works. How easy it is. Um, they're not expensive. Shirley Beats doing a pump up sprayer because <laughs> you can make whatever your mix is. You can make it in a five gallon bucket or you can put it in a drum, whichever, uh, whatever you're doing. So, and then that pump there is 2.2 gallons a minute, but you know, you can uh, tone it down on your, on your sprayer there. So kind of simple, kind of easy. And if you uh, have any other questions about it, just uh, shoot me a message down below and I'll be glad to uh, answer anything I can. I hope this helps y'all out. Have a good day.